Hello, my beautiful family. How are you doing? Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. I just can't thank you enough. I still remain your one and only progress news, giving you all the updates. Hey, my communistic people. Hey, what happened today in Abuja is going to shock you. Our Mazi is here to give us the full details back to back on what happened. Listen to him and I'll be right back. Hey. Tinubu has become the president of Nigeria today at exactly 10.43 a.m. I have no problem about it. Oh, sorry, I have problem about it, but there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I have a problem about the point of correction. I have a problem about Tinubu becoming the president of Nigeria. I have a problem about anybody becoming the president of Nigeria. We, I'm not sure what is going to happen in a couple of years coming or months. But anyway... There's nothing I can do about it. You that you're watching me, there's nothing you can do about it. He's becoming, whether he become the president by crook or by stealing, there's nothing you can do about it. President Donald Trump of America become the president of America by rigging. Do you know that? Do you know that Russia rigged the election in America and there was nothing American government can do about it? You see that you rig in by crook or by stealing. Now, my concern is Tinubu should start using walking stick. The couple of videos that I watched, Tinubu is staggering. He is old and there is nothing he can do about it. Tinubu should start using walking stick. There is nothing we can do about it. He is old, he's old. I watched a couple of videos where he was staggering and they are trying to hold him. I'm not sure if that video is staged or I don't know, you know, all this internet thing. So, Baba, please st start using walking stick. You are not going to be the first president to, to use walking stick. I don't want you to become a president. There's nothing I can do about it. Even me, I know what make me I become president of Nigeria. <laughs> if I become president of Nigeria, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> but that is not all. Do you know, Tinubu doesn't have any resemblance. Somebody that is going to come and fill his gap when he's not there. Buhari got a lot of resemblance from Niger Republic. <laughs> I don't think there's any Yoruba man who have resemblance of Tinubu to replace him. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know now, they go wear mask. <laughs> but my question is this, why, why is Buhari running? Why is Muhammad Buhari running? They never finished inauguration, so he just run. Fiam. What is what's in the fear? What's in the, what in the fear? I bet make no vex. I just the ask why is Muhammad Buhari running? You are not even waiting for the ceremony to finish. Come, you don't run. Why are you running, Muhammad Buhari? You don't carry everything given now today. Oh, thank God, I don't leave this Wahala people. You don't carry everything give Tinubu. He run. Say so all the best when I chop. You don't walk out. Make it quickly go uh, Daura. Baba is going to Daura, begin to pack in load, they go to Niger Republic. You go pack the valuable things to Niger Republic. Anything where they're valuable for Daura, now Niger Republic, they go. Can you see Muhammad Buhari is younger than me? Hmm. When I know they ask question, no. I've been on TV, they make me see I'm like, say, is they old? Is they young? Is it television? Maybe. But I still have a doubt that he is dead. It is something years old man, about 90 years old man. Come on. Or maybe in age. I don't know. I don't know. Nigeria, when I feel the confused person, when I the confused person for that country, die. I am not still convinced that that is Muhammad Buhari. I'm not convinced. When I remember, I said Buhari, they stagger like, now like this man they do now, and I saw Buhari they do that time. All of a sudden, everything was all right. You they run. You they walk out, you they climb, you they climb uh, stairs like say you be Solomon. Muhammad Buhari they climb stairs like say you be uh, uh, 50 years old. You they climb like say you be 40 something years old. Uh, uh, come on now, we get sense. I'm using my number. You make I tell you now. You may not. I'm not asking you to believe that Buhari is was dead or not. Me, I think he is not the one. Uh uh. When I don't see how they climb stairs there. Even though he is slow, if you are acting 
to represent you must you must you must you are you are, you are playing you are you are acting make you remember saying that act to be acting i don't tell you a story about joseph stallion joseph stallion was ussr president he was known as a dictator the russian soviet union president joseph stallion he was killed like three times joseph stallion was killed like three times people they were in resemblance he go go occasion as the president they go find the man <laughs> when they find him, finish, say, oh they don't keep president they, come, they go come carry out the body go go bury him they go <laughs> make, when I go, make when I go check this, this, the history of USSR go and check the history of Soviet Union hmm? Hmm? it did happen but you know say for we like African we don't actually believe that um, anybody can can act and drama like like anybody like what you know the call and say now um, um, there's English they use on this thing that I normally forget so for me, I have my doubt. This is my belief. This is my own belief. Your own belief is different. If you believe that that is Muhammad Buhari, there's nothing I can do about it. But if I keep telling you that I don't think he is, there's nothing you can do about it. My belief is my belief. My opinion is my opinion. You feel me? But the way I have problem is... Um, Tinobu is old. And I think he have arthritis problem. He have a knee problem. Muhammad, Tinobu have a knee problem. There's no doubt about it. You've become the president that you want to become. Congratulations to him. But Baba, use walking stick. Make you no go fall down one day. I will tell you now. When I will be Yoruba, make you not tell her, make you use walking stick. There's nothing wrong if you're using walking stick. He's going to stumble and stomp one day. That's the truth. So, well, anyway, I know say in the next three or four months, he go carry una money, go fix in leg. Uh, you know, now this day, surgeon. They go come out in leg, carry young person leg, put there. <laughs> this time around, he's not going to go to UK. He's going to France. They will come come out young person leg. Come carry. Come out in leg. Come put the young person leg. <laughs> when I go come see Baba, they jump. Baba go they jump up and down. In the next three months, make when I wait and see. They go carry on their money, go fix theirself. Uh, no wahala. Um. Tinubu, a lot of people are having hope on Tinubu. Yes, today I know a lot of people are having hope on him. I don't have any hope on him. I still have my own opinion that Mazin Amdekanu should be released. And let's sit on the table together and talk the way forward or make we scatter things. You cannot talk peace and insecurity in Nigeria. You cannot talk peace in Southeast Nigeria without bringing the people to the table. That is my own. I don't like to see anybody die. People will fight for freedom. Everywhere in the world, people fight for freedom. There are a couple of countries in the, in the world that are still fighting for freedom. They are not killing them. Yes, the government is going to come and protect themselves and say, no, we don't want to give you freedom. Yes, it's normal. But you don't have to go and kill the people. There is a place called Tau Tau. Tau Tau is in Philippines. I repeat. I said there is a place called Tau Tau in Philippines. That people are, are they, some, they are in the highland of Philippines. Somewhere in Philippines, they are Tau Tau. They call them Tau Tau. Those of you who are in Philippines, ask. They are fighting for freedom in that place. They want to become their own country. Those people, they, 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 they live near water sea. They are part of Philippines. Do you understand me? They are not there killing them all the time. The, the people are shouting, yeah, we want to get freedom. They want to get their freedom. There's a country, there's a place in um, Indian. There's another people in Indian. I forgot. Oh my God, I forgot. They are also fighting for freedom. Hmm? It's not always easy for the government to just let you go when you are fighting for freedom. We must get it right. It's not, it doesn't come easy. Tau Tau has never got their freedom. From Philippines, but they are hoping for. And these other states, I forget now, India, they are part of India. 
So we we are not the only people who is fighting for freedom. So I don't think it's a I don't think it's a is a is is I don't know what to say. I, I don't think it's a, I mean killing each other for me is not is not the thing. And when the government pull out the soldier there to kill people who are just carrying flag, there's something behind it. There's something behind it. I mean, you can't just put the soldiers and let them kill the people that are saying, hey, oh here Biafra. I want Biafra. No, it doesn't work like that. The diversity in that country is damn too much. The only thing I'm hoping for Tinubu is release Masin Namdekanu. Let's sit around on the table. Forget about the past. You are not um what one are the column? Um Fulani. Fulani people don't get hurt at all. I'm sorry, I got to say this. Whether you are a good Fulani or whether you are a bad Fulani, I mean, I don't know how to put this. Whether you are a politician Fulani or you are just a common Fulani, Fulani now like zombie than B. I'm sorry if you are Fulani, I'm telling you the truth. What thing I want to try to talk, we say, Fulani people, they know they're here, they know they're here, come. When they are angry, they are angry. So I think that's the only way I can explain. This man Buhari that just left, the only turn on where people die pass for that country, Nafut Nahim. He doesn't care. He, his ear is blocked. Whether dead, whether dead Buhari or not dead Buhari, his ears are blocked. I don't think you are going to put 100 Fulani in front of me now and ask them about Igbo people. They will probably, 99.99% of Fulani people will hate Igbo people. Forget about the politicians. The politicians are the one who plant that mindset into the regular Fulani people. They make them understand that these people are Yamini. These Yamini people are not Muslims. And they are infidel. We are, you are the, I mean, we have to control them. Do, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Huh? I believe Nigeria is not going to be together for, for so long. You understand? It's not going to be together for, forever and so long. Hmm? As time go, goes by, people will get their freedom. And I know that country is going to divide into three. Forget about what they are, as happy as they are today. As happy as they are today, inauguration and all that. They are fine. But one day, the only solution is still to break up. That is, the, the solution is still to break up. The diversity is too much. We are too much in that country. Seriously. You feel me? There's love in unity. I understand. There's love in unity, but there's no, that, that love is not there. We are just hypocrites and managing each other. You know, any country where people they manage each other, that is not good. You, you, you have to tolerate that person in full, like acceptance. But when you are managing, you are just managing the person. There will be a time you will stop managing the person. If I'm working for you now in your own company, if you have a company and I'm working for you, and you are managing me, what does that mean? Managing is like I'm just managing this guy. You understand? Our forefather, our forefather, Fulani forefathers, our forefathers, Igbo forefathers, our forefathers, Yoruba forefathers, they have plants, hypocrites, and hate between us. The colonial masters, which are the United Kingdom, the colonial masters, who are, which are the European and France, they have plants that hatred between us. It has gone too far. And this generation of uh, 20, uh, generation of fast, my brother, listen, I'm telling, uh, this is my own opinion. The country is going to fall, maybe not now, maybe tomorrow, maybe next tomorrow, maybe next year, maybe next upper year, this is still going to fall. Pekin, where they killing Papa, he go stand up one day and ask, where did he kill my father? And that time he go carry that sword, where Papa keep for one side, where they say make Papa no use. He will use it. Take it or leave it. Hmm? We should be allowed to speak our mind. We are not in... Uh, um, uh, we, we, they say we practice democracy. They should allow people to speak their mind. Allow people to speak their mind. Don't go about using soldiers to arrest people because they are talking. Huh? 
So that is my own opinion. I, there's nothing I can do about it that Buhari has become the president. There's nothing I can do. Even if, if Obi become president today, there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. If the courts reverse the presidency that Obi should become the president, there's nothing I can do. He will become the president. You feel me? My own anger now is Tinubu. My congratulation is not from my heart. The reason why I'm giving you congratulation is release Martin Damdekano, I beg. Release that man. You have suffered enough. Don't do like uh, this uh, Daura, uh, this uh, Daura, with an Nijay man. Don't do like him. Let him go. Martin Damdekano has won four cases against the government. He has won four. And the government has won nothing. So it should be, it should, they should let him go. That's all I have to say to you guys. I have no problem. There's nothing I can do about it. It's not as if I'm going to go Abuja now. I begin to make I go, uh, <laughs> make I go Abuja, go carry uh, Tinubu breaking leg. <laughs> Before I reach their self, they don't. Now me, they go first break my leg. <laughs> yeah, they go break, they go don't break my leg. PC say, our president, wait till this one they go. Uh, and they go as so wrong. I want to see Tinubu. Uh, I don't have any hope for Nigeria. I'm sorry. I don't see any hope for Nigeria. Let me explain something to you guys. The betterment of Nigeria is not in the hand of Tinubu. Moving Nigerian forward is not in the hand of Tinubu. Moving Nigerian forward is in the hand of each and every one of you watching me. Moving Nigerian forward is, each and, is in the hand of each and every citizen, whether regular citizen or no regular citizen. It's cooperation. As I tell you, even if Tinubu is trying to do his best in his own way, Nigeria is too corrupt. Everybody is corrupt. Every department and institution is corrupt. Tinubu cannot fix it. He can, it's going to overwhelm him. Every president will come. Make I tell you, why do Buhari run away? Buhari cannot wait to go away from the problems. He couldn't wait. After he finished to um, hand over to um, Tinubu, he just ran out. He said, I'm going to Daura. Who does that? Who does that? At least you wait for a while. But he was going to Daura straight with plane. He enter plane, they go down right straight up. He is, he's trying to run away, he's afraid. The, diversi the, diver the diversity in Nigeria is afraid of what he has done. He's come to social media, I mean TV, to say, please, Nigerian, forgive me. Why did Buhari say forgive me? Why did Buhari say, if you don't forgive me, I will go to Niger? What did you do that you're saying forgive me? Why is it now that you're saying forgive me? Remember, the president is just the president. There are people also controlling the president. I can sit here and tell you, Muhammad Buhari is dead. Uh, Muhammad Buhari did this and that. Bro, that man cannot stand up and command and it's going to work. There are people working under him. That's how they work. It is a cabal. As he is now, that man is afraid. I can stand here and tell you categorically that Muhammad Buhari He's afraid of what may come to him. He doesn't know what may come to him. He's afraid. He's not going to Daura. He's going to Niger. He's not going to settle down in, in, in Daura. Daura, they're safe. Daura is not safe now. What are you talking about? So please, you guys should understand. Now they, 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 moving Nigeria forward. The only way to move Nigeria forward is in the hand of if the Yoruba could understand. If the Igbo could understand. And the Fulani could understand that Dividing the country so that everybody go do, go do well. Country the sweet when all of you are on the same page. We are not on the same page. Nigeria is not on the same page. Nigeria, we are not on the same page. Only those that are in power that are like pretending to be in the same page. In which they are not. They are not. Religion wise ethnicity politics 
Rabeg. The only favor you can do to your generation is make you not divide the country. Make Fulani get their own nation. Make Yoruba get their nation. Make you not leave us. And so, my wonderful family, that brings us to the end of this update. Do it to like the video, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and bye bye.